Thank you. Oh, no. Oh. As thousands of fans shuffle through Buccaneer Arena. Kung Fu fighting, baby. Nothing slows him down. There is one. You ain't gonna win in our house, baby. Who stands out. Hey, come on, get it out of there, let's go. Everybody knows Phil. There's only so much I can say and there's only so much I can do. I'm just hoping that my actions uh, by getting out in the public, I hope they speak louder. I know they will speak louder than my words. Actions include putting this jersey on every home game and making his way to the third row to celebrate what he can't see. As the Buccaneers start back out, Carzo leads the charge. Carzo cutting in, shot, goal! I have become a hockey fan at heart, my heart and soul. Phillips' love for Buccaneer hockey began three years ago when the visually impaired 31-year-old was laid off from his job. Things are getting pretty desperate. I, I had uh, I had some some uh, interviews that didn't work out and some things like that, and I was just about ready to say, well, you know what? Maybe I need to wait a little while before I go searching again. That's when he met Sean Edwards with the Des Moines Buccaneers. Uh, I said, I'm gonna be real frank with you, Sean Edwards. Um, I need a job. I, that and that's and I said I can't be any more honest than that. He, he just said he loved the box. He'd do anything for the box and. You know, and he said he needed a job, and, and I couldn't hire a better guy than him. Good morning, Buccaneers. This is Philip. How can I help you? From that point, Phil became a ticket liaison. As you can probably tell, the bedroom is, you know, doubles as an office. Good morning, Buccaneers. Folder new list new. Not selected 0809 sponsorship opportunity. Uh, you will see no screen, and you're not going to see a screen because I don't see a screen. So if I shouldn't see a screen, neither should you. As a member of the Bucks, Phil spends his days at home calling past and present season ticket holders. The ones I'm going to give to you are uh, the ones that come in the book, so hey, you're special, right? <laughs> it's a work from home environment, and one of the nice things about that is being able to stop and have lunch. Flying puck, baby! Keep your eyes open! It's renewed his love for hockey. Keep your eyes open, get that! And life. 70% of all blind people nationally do not have a job. So I'm one of 30%, and uh, it, that is a sad but cold hard truth. Since birth, Phil's days have been about overcoming obstacles and never saying no. I don't know why people feel like they can't do something, why they can't do this and why they can't do that. Uh, they, if they, they need somebody to go out there and be with them a little bit and do some things with them. Before the first puck is dropped, he proves it every game. Related to a hockey player, they get shaky knees before every game. They they get the butterflies in their stomach. They get all this. I'm that way too. Every time, it doesn't matter. I've performed it a hundred, hundred times more, two hundred times. It means a lot to our fans. Every time he sings the national anthem, they get pumped. They really do. There are two rules. Phil says he's learned to live by, and hopes his actions will encourage others to remember. Number one, it's a cruel world, and number two, who cares? Um, who cares if it's a cruel world? Uh, your attitude is what will make or break you. And the whole 